Pokemon Go has to be experienced to really make sense, but if you're into Pokemon at all, you should experience it. It's not mechanically interesting, but it is very socially interesting thanks to a few smart design decisions, and because of the huge crowd of nostalgic fans currently playing. You wouldn't jump off a bridge because everybody's doing it, but that is a great reason to play Pokemon Go. At least in the short term, Pokemon Go is a proven phenomenon. I can go anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area and find strangers playing, calling out the names of Pokemon as they simultaneously appear on everyone's phones based on their randomly scattered geographical location. Pokemon Go screenshots are all over Twitter. It feels like everyone is playing. But this is a precarious house of cards built on top of a wobbly foundation of nostalgia. For the most part, Pokemon Go's design as a paper-thin RPG is super accessible but completely unremarkable. You as a trainer have a level, and your captured Pokemon have combat points tied to your level, but it's not explained very well. Gym battles are nothing more than simple tapping-based combat that's barely affected by anything other than point value. Even Pokemon's rock-paper-scissors type matchups hardly matter. Also, the app itself, which is currently at version 0.29, is stuttery, crashy, and performs inconsistently. There are a few key things keeping Pokemon Go together. In order to power up or evolve a Pokemon, you have to catch duplicates, sometimes many, many duplicates. That, and a drive to catch them all, keeps me walking around and catching more Pokemon. I want stronger Pokemon to take over gyms for my team, even though combat is boring. And, since those incentives encourage more walking around, it keeps everyone playing and encountering each other, which feeds the real-world aspect that makes Pokemon Go special. But if people start to lose interest due to lack of depth when the novelty of seeing Pokemon pop up around their everyday lives expires, that surreal social connection will fall apart and the spell will be broken. What Pokemon Go needs is more features to support that real-world community. Things like Pokemon trading and leaderboards, which developer Niantic says are in the works, could keep that momentum up. Even if it's a flash in the pan, though, there's no doubt it's exciting to be a part of it while it lasts. For much, much more on Pokemon Go, stick with IGN.